Hey guys, Brando here again with my November pickups, and I'm running a little behind with this one. Work's been crazy, uh, you know, I'm the holiday season and everything, and I'm starting to feel a little under the weather, so please bear with me in this video. But I've, I've got quite a bit to go through. I, I had another really big NES haul for November, and some Black Friday stuff, so let's, let's just get right down to it. So first, uh, I actually, I've had this for a little while, but I hadn't got it working, and I just got it working, got it cleaned. It is the uh, Adventure of Link, Zelda 2 for the NES Gold Cartridge, and it's a, it's a little beat up. I don't know if you can tell on camera, and you know, it's got some good scuffs on it, and uh, it's actually a donation earlier in the year from a coworker of mine, so thanks Aaron for this. And um, so, I believe it was kept in like a garage, you know, just kind of like haphazardly you know, stored and everything. So the fact that it, it you know, that it, that I got it to work is, I'm kind of including it in this because I've had it for a while, never had an NES to test it out or do anything with it. But so, but as of like November, I've been able to get it to work and have some fun with it. So Zelda 2 and the other one that he actually donated, but I actually got in the hall as a, like a duplicate. And that was Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. And you're, you're gonna see in my NES videos, I have the uh, black sleeves on some of them. And the ones that I have in the video that have the black sleeves actually have the uh, manual with them. I actually ended up having this manual stored away because that same coworker uh, donated a bunch of manuals just randomly. And I got some manuals with the haul as well. So I ended up getting uh, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. I also ended up getting Arkanoid. If you guys are familiar with the little ball breaker game with the little, um, well, that little platform and you hit the ball up around. Arkanoid is basically that with power-ups and everything. Um, I don't know if this was the first one that had the power-ups, but you know, I heard a lot about Arkanoid. When I saw it, I actually, you know, from the little label, I pretty much knew exactly what it was. So, Arkanoid. Um, okay, I lied on this one. This one has a sleeve, and no manual, but this one is uh, Arkista's Ring. I knew absolutely nothing about this until I, I found it in the, uh, in the hall but it's a game released by Sammy, and I recognize the name. Uh, be honest with you, I'm not too familiar on games that they produce, or you know what other games they put out. I'm gonna have to look into it. But Arkista's Ring and uh, baseball, baseball. <laughs> uh, this is actually one of three baseball games that I got. This one was in the hall though, and I've actually got some other games. That I uh, traded because I I got a Legend of Zelda gold cartridge in the hall as well, and uh, a buddy of mine really wanted one, and I traded it away for about you know five games or whatever. I think it was six, but one of them was a duplicate. And two of the games that he gave me were bases loaded one and two, so that kind of you know fits my baseball kick there. Uh, this one I had never heard of prior to this haul either. Um, Wood and Water Rage, pretty much kind of like a, a an extreme sport surf skateboard thing. I never saw any surfing because I never got past the skateboarding, but you know, it is what it is. This one, I was really excited because I, anytime you see a, you know, a, a cartridge that is not gray, that means it is an unofficial, unlicensed Nintendo game. And of course, this is by Tengen, a they are an offshoot of the Atari company. So they released a game called Super Sprint. And eventually, I think they ended up having some sort of like, lawsuit or settlement for releasing these titles. I think there were about nine of them or ten of them in these black style cartridges. So, I mean, it was really cool to see because, you know, uh, having never owned an NES or only having knowledge of this from other YouTubers and whatnot, it was really cool to get something that was kind of, you know, off, off kilter from everything else. And one of my really big surprises for the haul, I mean, there were quite a few games in here that I was that I've been very well aware of, but one of the very first NES games I ever played, and it has a slipcover with no manual, so I'm a complete liar. RC Pro-Am, 32 tracks of racing thrills. I remember being at my cousin's house, and I was uh, spending the night there for the very first time, and I was very uncomfortable and having a hard time adjusting, and one of the things they did to calm me down was I played a little bit of RC Pro-Am, and I sucked at it just as, as much as I suck at it now. <laughs> so, but I, but I absolutely love it, it brings back so many memories. Um, got Skate or Die. 
another skateboarding game that I, that came in this. And this one I actually heard of, but I never played. So I really have no opinion on it too much. But Kung Fu, I I really like these. You know, some of these original NES games like the baseball, where it's just like it's very self-explanatory. <laughs> you see a guy, you know, you know, throwing a roundhouse kick or whatever, and it, and pretty much. That shows you what move you need to do throughout the entire game because punching is pretty much useless. You need to kick everything, kick everything to death, just like Chuck Norris. Um, the classic Mario Brothers. I don't know why I hesitated. The classic Mario Brothers. But yeah, you know, I was, uh, this was another one that I was really happy to see. And there's another one that is a arcade classic that was in this that I was really happy to see as well. But uh, I remember playing this. Was it the... I think it was on what Mario 3 that had a version of the original Mario Brothers that you can play. Um, one of a couple of LJN games, I think they're in there, at least I know this one. Uh, they did a lot of like license games that were really bad, and Jaws. Um, I didn't play too much of it, but Jaws. It's very repetitive, but that's pretty much it. Uh, another game that I got in my little trade with my buddy Rob. Uh, was Jordan versus Bird one on one, and we actually played this, and he totally stomped me at it. I had no idea what he was, what I was doing, and I don't think he ever played it before. But I guess that sh goes to show you just how good I am at sports games. Now, when I got this, I it, it reminded me instantly of the Angry Video Game Nerd. You know, he's done so many videos on other games, but for, the, for some reason, this one sticks out in my mind. But Fester's Quest. I actually never heard of this before I saw his video. Yeah, I thought it was kind of weird that they had just an offshoot game from Fester from the Adams Family, running down people with like a big like was it a big like gun or whatever, collecting light bulbs. But yeah, Fester's Quest. Another puzzle game here. It is uh, Orb 3D. I tried playing this and I really didn't get the knack of it. I wasn't very good at it. So Orb 3D is pretty much all I had to say about that one. Um. Uh, Again, okay, I was right, LJN, and it's Friday the 13th, and hey, I happen to have the manual with it, that's kind of cool. So, uh, I remember also this from the Angry Video Game Nerd, I never played it before I got it, but it, it's pretty horrible, where you're throwing rocks, and that dang alarm going off, where you gotta go try and rescue the kids across the dang map. Not a too enjoyable experience, never heard of this, again, before Paul, and that is Top Secret Episode. Golgo 13 by Vic Tokai. I had never heard of it, so Golgo 13. Uh, another really self explanatory game Golf. Now, this guy sort of resembles um, Mario, but I don't think it. Is. Was there a Mario Golf with the NES? Was there a, something about, like, with. I remember there being something like, like a head Mario or Mario Golf. I don't know if that was on the. Uh, Maybe there's one on the game, I don't know. But I just seem to remember like a friend of mine's dad playing Mario Golf for some reason. Another puzzle game, Tetris. Now, I don't know um, if I have included this before in a video, but I wanna say I got it in, it, I got it in this haul, and maybe, um, no, 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 okay, it wasn't another video. I got it in this haul, and then it was along with the trade that I made with my buddy, he went ahead and just threw it in because he had a double of it as well. Um, Another, uh, you know, NES straight shooting series, Pinball, where you play Pinball. Now, they have this little guy down here running around, and I didn't play too much of it to see if this little Mario clone is actually in Pinball, but I didn't see anybody in there like that. Now, this one, I was really excited, and it was pretty much the last one that I saw in the hall, and had no idea that it was in there, River City Ransom. I absolutely loved this game growing up. It was so much fun, and I loved playing... Uh, and beating up all those guys and having their, having their like little sayings when you beat them like Blarg and you know Mama and all that stuff. That's really fun. Puzzle games. More and more puzzle games. Dr. Mario. Now I've always sucked completely at Dr. Mario. So I mean it was it's cool to have it and it's a must have, but I hope I get better. I think I need practice. Excite bike. I was really happy to see that this was in here. I got a lot of big titles out of the way just in this one haul and I got actually all these games plus a you know the original system which I'm not going to include in the video because you guys have obviously seen one before and plus I have it apart working on it so you know terrible planning on my part but I got everything for like 60 bucks 
And I, the guy that I bought this stuff off of on Craigslist, he asked me, you know, are you, did you read, you know, all the uh, descriptions? Are you, are you sure you want this? The system's kind of in poor shape. And I'm like, dude, yeah, sure. I want the games. You know, I already have a system. Now this one was really random because I had never heard of the damn game and I just happened to have the, uh, the manual for it that my coworker donated the games and a bunch of manuals you know, back in earlier the year, and that is a game called Dragon Spirit. And I just happened to get it in the hall, and I already had the manual without knowing anything about it. So that's quite a coincidence there. Um, if I remember this one, is this the one that's like the rail shooter? It's been a while since I tested all this stuff out, so please excuse me if I'm completely wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And this one is Destination Earth Star. Now, this one was a really neat little like space shooter where you, you had like this little grid, I believe, and you have to like find your way around it and f find the enemies and shoot them. And it, it just seemed like it took absolutely forever. And I don't know if there's a quicker way to play the game, but it just it wasn't my cup of tea at all. I said there was another uh, arcade classic, and that is the original Donkey Kong. Now, I have the uh, Donkey Kong Classics, which has the original and then Donkey Kong Jr. But I guess this one was released first. Uh, I would assume so anyway, but this one along with some of the other games in here more than equaled out to like the worth of the a lot that I got out of everything. So I thought that was just so cool to have the actual original along with the, uh, the other bundle thing that I have. So this one that I got, it was the last one in the trade that I did with my buddy Rob for that Legend of Zelda. And that was Double Dragon. I got Double Dragon 2 in the last haul in October, so um, he... He asked me kind of what I wanted, and he mentioned Double Dragon and, th and threw in a bunch of other games to kind of equal out kind of like the worth and everything. So, yeah, Double Dragon, I'm really happy to have this, so I have one or two now. Now, uh, was there a third one? I think there was. But anyway, moving on. Another one that I happened to have the manual for beforehand that was in this, a little bit more common, though, than or known, I guess, than Dragon Spirit, unless I'm just totally out of touch, is so Simon's Quest, Castlevania 2. Now, this game does get a lot of flack. For being completely different it's sort of a different entry for the series i love the castlevania series but I, this is the only one i own so far so i guess i'm just gonna have to play it and love it actually i own some for the psp don't i yes i do totally forgot about that good memory <laughs> but i guess i'll just um uh, that's the nes hall so i'm gonna move on the same day i made a made a deal for, for some xbox games so the first one is a uh, mortal kombat challenge monks which I never played back in the day. I remember seeing the trailers for it and uh, you know wanted to check it out and I saw that that was in there. I'm like, you know what? I've never played it. I'd like to own it. And it, it, it's not bad. Kind of a good kind of beat-em-up kind of game. Of course, this next game is a must-own and I already own it for the PS2. But it was in the, like in the hall and that is GTA San Andreas. The case is really beat up and, you know, it, I mean, it, it, it is what it is. Um, it's not the best copy. Um, and also the disc is kind of kind of scratched. It might be like ear like irreparable. Kind of big a big mark in there. It's a, it doesn't even really load up. So San Andreas. Um, my very first Call of Duty game that I've ever owned, Call of Duty 2. I'm not a big first person shooter at, a fan at all. So Call of Duty 2. It is what it is. I remember playing this when the 360 first came out on like the demo or whatever. I played that. One of my favorite uh, Tony Hawk games. Tony Hawk Underground. I remember playing the heck out of this when this came out, and I I, I really liked how it, it, the story mode actually revolved around a character that, that you know that you created and you kind of worked his way up. So, like underground. Now this one is blank. It has no label. I could get one printed up. It's 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 it, it, you know, it's underground too basically. <laughs> so this one I actually didn't like nearly as much, uh, so that for the fact that they do it like be little bam characters and. Made it all jackassy. It wasn't nearly as interesting. Now, this last one was a complete and utter buzzkill. Now, I got a good deal on these games, even though I, you, know, I had, you had one that doesn't work, one that has no label. Um, I got a great deal on great prices, and this one was supposed to be the champion of the bunch. And that is for the Xbox, Star Wars Battlefront 2. But much to my dismay, when I was making the deal, I was opening stuff up and checking it out. And it's empty. I was so disheartened. I had such a great deal with the NES stuff and was such a good mood. And this really deflated everything. Um, 
I mean, that's the game. That's the reason why I made the deal in the first place. It was. If anybody knows anything about how much that game on the Xbox is going for, it's it's about a forty dollar game. And let's just say I was about ready to pay like three bucks for it. So, soul crushing, man, soul crushing. But you know, you win some, you lose some. So now we're gonna go to uh, uh, for the PS3. I got a donation from a, another coworker. He absolutely loves the Gran Turismo series, and he's done with this uh, Gran Turismo Five. And he says, "Here, here you go, for your collection." Now the case is like not in the best shape, but you know what? I'll take what I can get. Cases can be replaced. So thanks, Mike, for that one. Uh, I bought this one um, in anticipation for the third one. I'd actually only played the demo, and I was hoping to get to play it and get through it before the next one, and that didn't happen. It was Dragon Age 2. Um, I'm playing the other one. Uh, of course, that's a pretty much a spoiler. I got Inquisition. I'll show that in a second. But um, I got this. Didn't get a chance to finish it. I, I started it, and pretty much mm, there, there was no way I was going to finish it. Before I do my next playthrough, though, on, on Inquisition, I will play through this one and get it done. So, with that being said, let's just go straight to Dragon Age Inquisition. So, this is probably the best game that I've played all year. I absolutely love this game. It has a really good multiplayer as well. The, it has a really strong uh, you know, single player. Some people say that the story is a little weak. Eh, maybe, yeah, okay. A little weak, but really high in uh, characterization. A lot of character development. Really well done. Uh, and it won Game of the Year at the Game Awards. And I think it's very well deserving of that. It's one of the best ones i played all year. And on the same day, I picked up the remaster for GTA V. I didn't need it, but I got it anyway. And it looks amazing. And if I ever want to play GTA again, I got it on the PS4. So, it's done. <laughs> the Now these two games I got at the very beginning of the month. They were my, basically on, what, November 1st. So, I was going to put them in the last video because that's when I shot the last video, but I decided to hold them off, and that's The Walking Dead Season 1 and 2. I actually bought uh, Season 1 of The Walking Dead digitally for the PS3, and I was going to, I had several chances to buy the actual physical copy of Season 1, and I saw that they were coming to PS4, and I figured, you know, they're not going to be any better on the PS4, but I could just use them as saying I got some more PS4 games. So yeah, Walking Dead. Uh, I played through the first one all the way, plus the DLC. Awesome game, great game. Need to get to this one, and I heard it's good, so definitely need to get to that. Now we're on to my Black Friday deals. First of all, I want to say that I bought an Xbox One this month. To anybody who may have missed that, I have an unboxing video. Uh, I'll link that down below. But I went ahead and got some games on Black Friday. I got some good deals on these. I got... Uh, uh, Watch Dogs, the Walmart edition with bonus whatever, um, which convenient, <laughs> funny story. I actually pre-ordered this with my PS4 last year, and when they pushed it back, I canceled the pre-order and got uh, AC Black Flag instead, and never picked this up when it came out because I was just disappointed by how it was turning out and kind of the it, just mediocrity it was gonna get in from both critics and some of my friends that had played it. So now I can actually play it for myself, and I thought, why not just get it for the Xbox One? If it, you know, it is what it is. Um, you know, some people say it plays better on the PS4, but honestly, I think for a lot of this generation, unless you put these things side by side, you're really not gonna notice. Um, Rise Sun of Rome. I, you know, when this game came out, I kind of wanted to check it out. It kind of looked like a more of a uh, Less puzzly God of War type, you know, beat em up. But, I, you know, this kind of changes up the gameplay element of that. It has a really good combat system, but it is pretty short. I only spent like two hours with it, and I'm already kind of like a quarter of the way done with it. And then I haven't even touched this one yet, and this one was also nominated for Game of the Year, and that's Shadow of Mordor. I really need to get into this. As soon as I'm done with Dragon Age, I'm diving right into Shadow of Mordor. So I now have three physical Xbox One games. I've got the I got the Call of Duty edition of the Xbox One for anybody that's wondering, but that video will be unboxing thing will be down below. So they were having a buy one get one free at Meyer, I believe, and I went ahead and got Ducktales Remastered for the Wii U, and of course I, I actually just got the NES Ducktales in October in that haul, but I've been wanting to get this for quite a while because I you know I love the NES game for this, but but the fact that they got like the voice cast to come back. And we do this, including the guy that is Scrooge, who's like 90 something. 
you know, I heard nothing but good things about this, and I finally had a chance to pick it up, so I got that. And then for my free game, they didn't have a whole lot of selection, but I went ahead and got uh, Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection, and uh, one of the reasons why I got this is because my collecting is going to slow down a lot after the new year. Um, you're not going to see a whole lot of like monthly videos with big hauls like this anymore because I got a really big uh, responsibility coming next year. Anybody who doesn't listen to the podcast, we've got a baby on the way. So my collecting habits kind of got to cut down a little bit. You know, I went pretty hog wild in November with a lot of brand new games and you know with Black Friday and then the NES haul. So I have quite a bit to show, but one reason why I got this and decided to get it is because it has a, a lot of Genesis games that are must-haves, like your Fantasy Stars, you know, your all your Sonics, your Streets of Rage games. So I want I really wanted to just have this because some of that stuff I may I may not be able to get for a while, but I have them on here and can play them at my leisure. So yeah. The last thing that I want to show is I got it online from StoneAgeGamer.com. I'm not endorsed by them, but they're having a uh, like a Cyber Monday sale. So technically, this is actually like what December first or whatever. But I wanted to go ahead and just throw it in this video anyway because I like it that much. It is the Super Retro Advance adapter for your Super Nintendo. Basically, you can play your your Game Boy Advance games on your TV through your uh, through the power of your Super Nintendo. Now what it does, it just sits in there like normal, no other power necessary, it actually works off of that power source, but it has its own AV out system here that you plug into your TV. And pretty much it uh, emulates Game Boy Advance and it plays it right from your TV, kind of like the Game Boy Advance player from like the, uh, the GameCube. But I've actually heard this has a little bit of a better color than on the GameCube player because ironically, I, I've been looking for that GameCube player for months. I wanted to have it get one to kind of you know finish off my GameCube down there, and I finally found one about a few weeks after I got this, and I have I found one complete and at a good price. But you know what? It is what it is. I love this. This is really neat. I, I want to be able to play my games on the TV, you know, because the Game Boy Advance is kind of like a portable uh, you know Super Nintendo anyway. So yeah, the uh, you know Super Retro Advance player. They also have ones for like the NES and the Sega Genesis that you can play through your Super Nintendo if you don't have the systems. So, you know, I mean, I haven't, I haven't seen those or see how they look or anything like there are any videos on those, but you know, I can attest to this. This works great. The colors look good. You use the uh, Super Nintendo controller, so it works fine. It feels fine. So if you're interested in that, definitely give this a shot. So guys, that was my November uh, gaming pickups. Went a little crazy with some stuff. Of course, the, uh, the NES haul uh, was the, probably the cheapest all around for the amount of games, of great games that I got in there. But everything else, you know, I got some you know good deals on Black Friday for stuff like that too. So um, I got some good stuff coming for December. I've already had a really big shopping haul. And I'm actually, I just made another deal with my good friend Veronica who hooked me up in October on those NES games. She's got some Genesis stuff that she's willing to sell me. So I'm gonna meet her at the end of the month and we'll see what we get out of that. So tell you what guys, I'll see you then. Check us out on Journey into Comics on iTunes, Facebook, uh, Instagram. Uh, check out more videos on this channel. Just whatever, guys. And I, I'll see you guys next month.